Look at that. Welcome back to Fabulum of Detailing. You guys, in this video, we're gonna take a look at Renegade products. Let's do it. So a couple months ago, Renegade Products reached out to me. You guys, they're a company out of Anaheim, California, made in USA products, and it says it right here, made in America. Um, and they reached out to me and asked me if I was willing to try some of their products. I had never heard of the company, and I love trying products from companies I've never heard of. I just love, love trying different products in general. And by the way, this beginning is going to be a little extra longer than normal because I got to explain some stuff in this intro. So. I said, yes, but at the time I was in the process of finalizing uh, buying the business. And I told him, I said, I don't know when I'm gonna get to it. I got a lot on my plate right now. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get to try these for a long time. He said, don't worry about it, I'll send them to you. Try them when you can. He didn't ask me to make a video. He said, give me feedback once you've used them. And I do that a lot for companies, you guys. I test products for companies and I never make a video on it and I give them my feedback so they can change stuff or, or I tell them I like it, whatever. So Renegade Products, once they reached out to me, they sent it to me and they've been sitting around for a couple months and I did not plan on even making this video today. I washed the 2006 Jeep Grand Cherokee yesterday for a different company's video and when I brought it inside, I decided that I was going to try their products. I looked around the garage and I had a lot of options. Um, thankfully, because of YouTube, I get stuff sent to me all the time. I do not get paid for videos though. Don't listen to the haters. I, I, I was looking around, I was like, you know what, let's try this because this is a black paint polish. It's meant for black vehicles. Now you guys, I don't like products with fillers. I've never cared for them. I think that you should try to get the best paint correction you can and that's it. But I think in situations like this one, this is a great option because when we first got this Grand Cherokee, it was tore up from the floor up. The paint was trashed. I have a series on those, they're awful. It was one of my very first several videos that I put on YouTube, they're terrible. But if you go back and watch them, you can see how bad the paint was, it was trashed. I did a heavy cut, so I don't want to dig into this clear coat much more than I absolutely have to. So products like an all-in-one that has a filling capability is great um, because I'm not cutting all that much. I am re removing some of the swirl marks, but I can also fill in some of the imperfections left over. The paint's gonna look glossy, it's gonna look good, and that's what matters in the end. I'm not sacrificing all of my UV protection that is left in the clear coat, if there's any much left in there as it is. So I've been trying this product. Uh, I started yesterday, like I said, wasn't planning on making a video. I tried on the left side of the hood, wasn't real impressed at first. Um, wiping off wasn't the easiest, but what I noticed when I went back with my light is I could see some streaking. I, I, I did not give up on it. I don't give up that easy. So I started messing around. I went to the top of the hood. I went to the middle of the hood, did the side of the, the other side of the hood, the passenger side. And what I found out, I kind of thought about other products I've used in the past where you get a microfiber wet for removal. That is a game changer with this product. The paint looks amazing, no streaking. It's easy to wipe off. The, the gloss is amazing. The swirl marks are gone. And I have used a body prep that's meant for removing all waxes and sealants or anything that's on a car. Let it dwell, wipe it off, and the paint correction is still there. I mean, I don't mean, I don't mean paint correction is still there the swirls are still gone, which means it is doing paint correction. It's a gritty product, I'll tell you that much right now. So real quick, I know we're four minutes into this almost. Um, so the black paint and polish is a graphene and ceramic product. I, I did put these in the order you normally would use them in, your soap, your decon, your polish, your prep, your wax, your spray coating, and then your um, graphene wash, your maintenance product here. And we will cover some of these products in this video. Um, but this product here, the, the directions aren't very good. So that's one thing Renegade needs to change because it, it starts with directions telling you to apply three to four drops on the pad, but then it goes and telling you what kind of pads you can use and that's it, it ends there. It doesn't tell you how to remove it. it. doesn't tell you how long to wait to remove it. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a door and then I'll go to the next door and do it and then come back and wipe off the other one and it's working flawlessly. That's why I decided to go ahead and grab the camera. Let's make a video on these products because so far they're working great, this, this, this product is. Um, I have used their soap, as you can tell, in the past. I got it out one day and just tried it, and it worked great. It was slick and gave me good foam, so it, it, it's a good soap. But I haven't tried anything else other than until right now I'm trying the black polish, and I'm absolutely loving it once I figured out how to actually use it properly. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you guys. 
uh, how to properly use this product, at least how I found that I can use it and get good results. And in this video, we'll use the black paint polish, the graphene wax, and the graphene spray coating. All right, you guys, so we're gonna try right here on this fender first. I got a 50-50 set up. I'm hoping that you guys can see it. Swirls are not terrible. The driver's door is really gonna show you guys. But as you can see, there's swirls. There's some like staining right there on it, on both sides, you can see. But I'm gonna show you guys how well this works. And we'll use a body prep. What we'll use is this. We're not gonna use their product. We'll use AutoSolve. It's a wax and grease remover and adhesives. It is very strong. And I'll show you guys that it does give you actual paint correction. It's not just filling products. But let me show you guys what I was talking about, how gritty this is. Hoping, hoping that it picks it up good, the GoPro. Yeah, you can see that. I mean, it is a very gritty product. Looks different. It's different than what I'm used to, you guys. All right, let's try it. All right, you guys, so I want to say something really quick. I use black microfiber towels for removal on these products that have dye in them because it's going to stain my microfibers. Does it hurt it? No, it doesn't hurt them one bit. I just don't like my blue or my green my yellow, whatever microfiber I have, getting stained with black. It's just something that I don't like. It's also going to stain your pads, as you saw when I just put that polish on that pad a minute ago. That pad was a pad I've used in the past on black polishes. So just remember that. It's not going to hurt anything. Once you clean it, it's gone. It's just going to, it's going to leave a dye behind. All right, so we're just going to do this section right here. And I'm using my MaxShine M15 Pro. So it's all spread out. We're going to go up to speed five. And that's all there is to it. Now, for the video, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to wipe this off. Because I have been waiting around before I wipe off. But and what I'm using, my black microfiber, this is drinking water, distilled water. Spraying my microfiber. Okay, I'm going to put you guys in my hand. As you can see, it's very cloudy, obviously, compared to this. And what I do is I just do really tight circles. And after that, I kind of just massage it a little bit. Okay. Oop. I'm going to grab a dry microfiber and buff it. Okay, and what I'm gonna do, we're gonna take this off. You see a distinct line right there already. I'm not gonna wipe on this yet. I wanna show you guys what it looks like first. Hang on a minute. Okay, so you can see there to right there. See how nice that looks? See that? Now, you can see, swirls are gone. Paint looks amazing. Looks extremely good. Now, let me show you what I'm gonna do. We're gonna use this body solvent, which is a very popular product, by the way. I saw a ton of these on my truck. What we're gonna do, we're gonna let it dwell for just a minute. This also removed this tape line that I got. Just for a second, 
trust me, it's fresh wax. Or not wax, but that isn't all in one, so it's fresh. It's not cured or anything. Okay, we're going to come in. We're going to remove it. Flip it over. This stuff flashes really fast. Okay. Put you guys back in my hand. Remember over here, swirls, no swirls. Swirls, no swirls. Okay, so I'm onto the driver's side. And as you can see, I can't even sit down over here. Um, so I'm probably gonna speed this part up. I wanna show you guys before and then after, obviously. This door is the worst of all of them. As you can see, all the way across. And the reason I get these on my cars is because I test products on this car all the time. I test soaps, I test waxes without using drying aids because I want to, you know, use a wax afterwards. So this car gets beat, beat up and abused, but it's also perfect for videos like this. Okay, you remember how bad it was? Look how much better that looks. Once again, I will reiterate, is it perfect? No. But man, is it look so much better because we were like this. See that? See right where we stopped. All right, you guys, so the black paint polish is done. Car looks incredible. And look at the color of the grass. The paint is clear. Now you're probably gonna get a little funny thing from the sun because it's GoPro. Anytime, the, right there. That little orb right there. I don't know why, GoPro needs to get that fixed. But the paint looks extremely good. The hood is trashed. It's been trashed since we got it, but. Couldn't be happier, you guys. Very little effort also. I mean, just didn't take all that much. This thing's starting to rust away like all Chryslers do. And look at that paint though, incredible. Look at the blue sky. Love black paint when it's clean and polished up. All right, guys. So it is going to sit here now until, not sit here, but in the garage. It's going to sit here until tomorrow. And then we will apply the wax. I want to let it sit overnight. And then we'll apply the wax tomorrow. All right, you guys, so it has been 24 hours since I applied the black polish. Now, you do not have to wait 24 hours. It does not say in the directions to. Uh, I just decided because most ceramic SO2 products have a 24 to 48 hour cure time, and I want to use this as my base coat. So we're not going to use alcohol prep or anything. We're just going to go straight into putting the wax on. But I tried showing you this yesterday, and it didn't work. So let me show you today because this stuff's really weird. Watch this liquid. See that? There's like a paste inside there. That's like the weirdest thing I have ever seen when it comes to a polish. The liquid's like on the outside, but it's like real pasty on the inside. So really weird, really weird stuff, but works great though. Okay, we're gonna use my Ryobi dual action polisher uh, for application and shake this up good. It says apply three to four piece size drops applicator pad, work two foot by two foot, which is what most people say. Let it sit for two minutes, then buff off using a clean microfiber towel. What, what's nice though, they do tell you if you do get streaks, to remove streaks or any remaining product, use a damp microfiber to fit and finish with a soft microfiber towel. So I'm just using a black finishing pad. We're going to go on a low speed. We're going to go about 3,800 RPMs. That's all you need for waxing. I'm not doing paint correction. I'm not trying to apply, I'm not applying any pressure. Let's 
just want to get a nice even coat. Under the light here. Nice even coats. That's what you want. All right, let's go ahead and see how easy this is to remove. <laughs> like butter. That is super easy. Wow. I don't get much easier than that right there. Turn it over. I'm telling you this, this paint is, was crazy slick after it sat overnight after doing the polish. I mean, it is so slippery. Remember the hood's trashed. You're gonna see rock chips and everything all over it. Looks good though. I don't see any streaking, but it'd be really hard to tell in here because obviously they've had problems, otherwise they wouldn't have put it on the bottle. Um, but I don't see anything as of yet. So, so for those of you that wonder, or going to wonder, so I did the whole car on between 38 and 4,800. Cause it just didn't spin too well anything below that the whole car still got a full battery left so all right you guys we are on to the third product i apologize this video is really long at this point but i'm trying to fit three products into one video so we are on to the graphene spray coating and i want to show you guys something make sure you shake it up really well because on the bottom side there's the graphene right there the black so just shake it up really good by the way if i forgot to mention the graphene wax claims one year of protection this also claims one year of protection it says to first shake then spray onto a sur onto the surface and the towel and buff on and off as normal does not need time to dwell can be used in shade or sun which is awesome can't take it outside it's really windy and starting to spit a little bit of rain um, works best with a dry surface for paint glass and headlights so this was the night after i applied the wax and it was a work night and i got home it was time to eat dinner so after i read the directions i shut the microphone off the camera off went inside ate dinner came back out turned the camera back on but not my microphone so we got to do a voiceover as you can see it flashes really fast you, i just had three sprays on there and i sprayed a little bit on the towel um, wipe it in turn the, f the towel over uh, buff off and it is really really simple to use uh, i reached for a dry towel here just to go for that final buff and the paint felt extremely slick like it has been with all three of these products that I've put on this paint. Um, I did have a little bit of issue with, and I don't even know if I'd call it streaking. If you look right here, and don't mind all those rock chips and paint pops. When I get to the side that I just did, you see these lines, but it only showed those lines on the GoPro. Not when I was looking at it, uh, but I could see it as I was recording. And I was like, okay, we need to do something about this. It might be a little bit of streaking. It might not take it as it is. So I decided to wet a towel. I mean, I'm explaining all this in the video, but I didn't have my microphone on. And I just went over it with a with damp towel, just like they recommend. So I then went back over it with the light, as you'll see here in just a second. And I saw nothing in person on the GoPro. Looking at my video, you can see a little bit there. But in person, it looked fantastic. It was just the GoPro. All right, you guys. So it is done. I've already looked it all over. I don't see anything. No streaking. Nothing. I think it's just the way that that light is. And this GoPro, because this GoPro, when the sun hits this lens a certain way, it gives weird stuff. But I think it's just a GoPro because it looks amazing in person. Absolutely fantastic. And look at that reflection. And this is perfect here. The sun's not out. This is the best way to see streaks on black vehicles is when it's overcast like it is right now. I mean, it looks really, really good. These Renegade products, they flat work and they're different. Cause people say, oh, well, they're probably re -bottled. No, they're not. That black paint polish is different. The way it is in the bottle, I've never seen anything like that. So this is something of their own product, not re-bottled from somebody else. All right, that's it. It's going to sit for several days because we're going to go camping. Um, and when we get back, we'll do a water test on it, see what the hydrophobics look like of these Renegade products. All right, you guys, so we are back.
from our little weekend getaway camping trip. Uh, the car's been sitting here for about four days. I did that on purpose. I wanted to sit in here and make sure it was fully cured, which it, it probably was within 24 hours, but I wanted to go ahead and just leave it in here. Uh, that way we can tell if it attracted any dust. It did a little bit. You guys can see, not terrible. I've seen way worse, but on black, it's the easiest way to see if it attracted anything to the surface. And as you can see, it definitely did. But my gosh, is this paint. It's stupid slick, so I cannot wait to see these hydrophobics. Let's get it out and let's see what they look like. All right, you guys, so sorry about the cicadas or locusts, whatever those are, making all that noise in the background. I apologize, nothing I can do about that. Uh, let's see how hydrophobic stuff is. I'm very curious because it was so slick to the touch. It was ridiculous, so, and it's kind of windy out here, so let's we'll see what it does. Very good. It's pretty much what I expected it to do, honestly. Let me take this extension off here and show you guys. Let me show you guys what this looks like. These beads. Sheets really fast. Very quick sheeting. Okay, let's try it on side panel. Very nice. That water just falls right off. Exactly, exactly what we want right here. Look at that, water's coming right off of it. Very, very good, Renegade. Very nice. Now let's see what happens if we flood it. You can dry the surface by flooding it. That is always a positive. Look at that. That panel is dry. Let's see what happens if we do that to the hood. Sorry, I wasn't watching the camera. Completely dry. So this is a very good sheeting product. If you're in a heavy downpour, it's gonna sheet really, really well. All right, you guys, so as you can see, look how beautiful this paint looks, looks amazing. Yes, you're hearing all the noise from the bugs and stuff, it's summertime, um, but I wanted to do this outside so you guys can see it, the sun's going down and the paint looks absolutely amazing. So I wanted to do it out here so you guys can kind of see it in the background. These Renegade products that I tried are really good. I'm really surprised. I love trying new products because sometimes you get really let down, sometimes you're just okay, sometimes you're really happy with what you tried. I'm really happy with what I tried here. Um, I went into this with no expectations at all. I never heard of the company before. Uh, I never used any of their products before. I never seen any videos of their products before. So I didn't know what to expect. And I am actually kind of blown away to be honest with you guys. So the uh, black paint polish uh, says graphene and ceramic. Basically is an all-in-one. It does have filling capabilities. I did not do a paint correction on this Jeep. The gloss you're seeing on this Jeep is from this product right here. It looks really good and I am okay with it filling because I don't want to cut anymore on the Jeep. I did a heavy, heavy cut when we first bought it because it was hammered. So these are the type of product I like to use on it now. That's why I decided to use this on the Jeep. Um, the black paint polish did a fantastic job. Now when you go to wipe off, the key to wipe off is using a wet towel. I found that makes it way, way easier. Once again, they need to finish their directions on the back of the bottle. And I think it should say using a damp towel remove product because that was the easiest way that I found to remove that product but it looks so good the paint looks amazing and then the graphene wax which says graphene graphene and ceramic also one year hydrophobic protection extremely easy to use and these are all meant to be used in combination with each other that's why I did this video that's why I didn't do just video on the graphene wax and show you the hydrophobics of that these are all meant to be used in conjunction with each other now you can use just the wax for just this I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go full blown. Let's see what their products are capable of doing. Um, and then the graphene uh, spray coating, really, really easy also. And it's also, it sat all weekend. Look at that. There's all the graphene in the bottom right there, all separated. Um, really, really easy to use. I thought I had some streaking at first and I may have had just a little bit. And, and I used a wet towel to kind of go back over it. The GoPro for some reason, I wish GoPro would get it fixed. These, and this, cause I have the, the GoPro Hero 9, the newest GoPro. 
that when the sun hits her or a light hits a certain way, it gives you shadowing. It puts these blobs on there, uh, orbs, whatever you want to call those things. And so it, it really looks like there's streaking on the panel, but in person, you don't see it. You have the light on it. You don't see those lines that make it look like it's streaking or scratched. It's just the GoPro, you guys. Trust me. It looks fantastic in person. If it didn't look good, I'll tell you guys it didn't look good. Um, but all three of these products worked exactly as, as they say they're going to work. And that's what you want, especially when you buy a brand new product. That way you're not let down. I am so happy with the way that this car looks. Now the question is, how long will it last? So if you guys have ever used the, the Renegade products, put down in the comment section. Let me know. Let me know what your experience was with them. Maybe the durability that you had with them. What you thought of the Renegade product. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video and checking it out. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Join the Fab family. We'd love to have you. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.